Guys, this? No, no, I'm not from NASA, don't worry. Or am I? No, uh, okay. If you're gonna feel better, I'm taking it off. Is it better? Oh, now you think that I'm a hacker. Great. Anyway, we're here for AW Dynamite. And before I just jump into it, I paid close attention to that Dynamite because on the last collision, on my rating, I rated it so low that I felt so bad. So I started nitpicking this Dynamite to understand are the storylines having backup and all of that stuff. And my conclusion is that storylines or the impromptu matches, actually the impromptu matches, are having some sort of buildup, but it happened a week ago or two weeks ago, and AW is not showing any footage of that match happening. The commentator just saying something like, uh, someone called out someone else and and that's it. But yeah, without uh, Any more shenanigans the first match of the night the opening show it's for the AEW Championship MJF versus Danny Garcia that match happened because on the last rampage Danny Garcia was so dominant that he called out MJF and MJF was like Danny you're the future so I agree and They had a match. It was an amazing match. I really enjoyed it and of course MJF won and basically he retained even though the belt is not in him but he retained the championship so basically at full gear we're gonna see still JY versus MJF surprise surprise after that we had Darby Allen and Sting versus the Outrunners if I tell you that this match happened what would be the outcome of course the Outrunner won I'm just kidding there is a no freaking possibility that Darby Allen and Sting are not winning against the Jobber team, right? Like, why are we even doing these matches? No, um, WWE are doing the same kind of matches sometimes. So, yeah, uh, that match just happened, and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else to add really here. After that, Penta El Zero Miedo versus Swerve Strickland because Penta El Zero Miedo uh, is a friends with uh, Hangman Adam Page and he wants to have justice for Hangman Adam Page, but not exactly because last week the shout boy for Penta was like Penta is El Zero Miedo Swerve and he is El Zero Miedo and El Zero Miedo and no fear did I say fear and no and basically Swerve was like I'm gonna remove his mask which was strange because he didn't even though Swerve Strickland won the match he didn't remove his mask he attempted to he attempted to Let's, let's be honest here, he attempted to, but Hangman Adam Page came out with the chair, he was like, you are a dead man, Swerve, and he uh, followed him with the chair, he made the one maneuver on a table, and all of that stuff, and yeah, that was it. After that, a match for the Ring of Honor TV Championship, Samoa Joe versus Keith Lee, and honestly, I don't understand what happened there. Samoa Joe went, in, went into the match a champion, he won the match, and he left not a champion. Because at the end of the match, he was like, I'm the greatest Ring of Honor TV championship, but I'm more hungry now, and I want to pursue bigger things. So, as of now, I, I vacate the ROH TV championship. And he just left the championship in the ring. And he was like, Max, Either you like it or not, I'm coming for the title, baby. And yeah, basically that was it. Why didn't he just give the title to Keith Lee then? I, I feel like Keith Lee was like the most worthy competitor for that title ever. Like the match was brilliant. The match was so good. They, These two are so well matched. I cannot even explain. After that, the squash match, the Guns versus the Bollywood Boys. I was wondering what is happening with the Bollywood Boys. Yeah, they're still jobbers, they're still getting squashed, and it was literally a squash match. Like, the Guns entered the ring, did their finisher, one, two, three, boom. Win, and after that, they had a cute little segment calling out MJF 
and saying that he's not a generational talent, like they are generational talent and all of that stuff. And you know how it is. After that, Julia had Julia Hart had a match against Red Velvet. What is next? What is next? She had a match against Sky Blue. Now Red Velvet. What is next? Green Goblin? Yeah, I don't know. Weird names. But yeah. Uh, Julia Hart defeated Red Velvet, of course, and after the match, Sky Blue came out and she stared uh, Julia Hart and nothing happened because uh, Chris Str Stratlander came out, Willow Nightingale came out, and Julia Hart just uh, left. Wow, what, wow, 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 what is going on? Last but not least, I feel like the opening match and the main event should have been switched but Mark Briscoe versus Jay White and basically the winner will face MJF at full gear and yeah basically Jay White was basically Mark Briscoe was like Jay White if you are grown up now because back in the day you couldn't even grow a beard you're gonna put your position for the full gear on the line and basically he did they had a great match I personally enjoyed it uh, at the end of the match of course, JY won, so basically MJF versus JY White is gonna be at full gear. At the end of the match, MJF came out, he attacked everyone, he couldn't get his title back, but unfortunately, while he was in the ring, uh, the mysterious group that attacked JY White weeks ago or a month ago, I don't know, attacked, he acclaimed, and now MJF has no friends, and Samoa Joe laughed at his face for that because apparently MJF needs to choose a tag team partner to defend his ROH tag team titles uh, for full gear and the best option honestly it's Samoa Joe and Adam Cole is saying that but MJF himself doesn't want to pick Samoa Joe because Samoa Joe was like if I am your partner you should give me a title opportunity and uh, MJF was like that guy almost broke my neck so yeah I totally understand him but with that being said, if I was rating AW Dynamite yesterday night, I would have given it a solid, solid 7.1 out of 10. It was a good show. Uh, nothing to complain this time. The women's match was a little bit confusing. The squash match, why was there? Maybe a little bit of a promotion for Saturday. I'm not sure, but yeah it was not a bad show it has more to improve but way better than the collision you know way better it made a little bit more sense so thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you not tomorrow but tomorrow but tomorrow with my video with my personal video teaser i'm gonna read comments from you boys and girls so Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see ya. Peace.